Got their feet tangled, but it's to Michigan State's favor. And now the handoff, and that is the true freshman from... And Ladarius Jefferson just dropped it, and it's picked up by the Hoosiers. Jonathan Crawford, he was there. Well, this is an awful good play. You can see the safeties are coming down right away, and... Man, they're gang tackling. They get the hand on the ball, punch the ball out. And you know, a bigger thing right here, I believe, is showing the maturity of this Indiana defense. Michigan State and Indiana both struggling on these conversions in this ball game. There's the deep ball for Cody White. Intercepted. What a great pick by Cam Jones. I'm really impressed. Here's a linebacker running with Cody White, step for step, looking back for the ball. He plays the ball, comes up with an interception. We don't really worry about that quite as much, only because we're playing at home. We've got that crowd to our advantage. They stay on the ground, third and long. Ball comes out, and it looks like the Hoosiers are on top. A fumble on the opening drive. Brandon Wilson strips it. Let's see. It looked pretty definitive from up here that it was indeed a fumble. Timeout. Time looked like Alan Stallings got his hand on the football to rip it out. Excuse me. That's Brandon Wilson. Williams, a true freshman. Of course, it's the youngest team in the nation, Minnesota. And he fumbles the ball. Indiana says they've got it. It's their third fumble recovery on the night. Brian Fitzgerald, who forced one earlier, does it again. Juwan Burgess comes up with it. We're going to take a little look at this and find out. Obviously, it was a fumble, but maybe find out if somebody from Minnesota had possession of that ball on the ground. And Bryce Williams definitely did not right there. When he jumped on it, that ball popped out again. Tough to tell from that angle, but I don't see anything that would indicate anybody other than Indiana had the football. Meanwhile, Raquan Jones looked like he really got banged up on this play. Number seven. Tries to jump on it late. Indiana tries to rush a few. Zerkiotis running away from pressure, and he does find Tompkins, but just short of the marker. Cam Jones making the play. Badgers up big in that one, by the way. Headed towards the half in Madison. Sagan getting chased out of the pocket, goes back the other way, and it's to Tompkins. Cam Jones making the play. That's a loss of three. That's, That's cool. a lot of work for a loss of three. The Big Ten field. You throw the ball all the way across the field. This is an interception waiting to happen. Look, I know you got a receiver crossing your face. You throw it up there, and Cam Jones is right there for a loss. Here's third and eight. McFadden wrapping him up. It's picked off. Cam Jones. Two balls. And Indiana touchdown. McFadden with the pressure. Zergios has to flip it with his left hand. And Cam Jones says, I'll take that all the way back for six points. But if your kicking game isn't up to snuff or you don't believe in it. Here comes the pressure. Langan. Flushed out of the pocket, still in bounds, had to step out of bounds. And so on fourth and 18, Merritt, a loss of three on that play. It's Young who's now in the backfield. Pressure coming. Cam Jones this time gets to him. You're into the boundary, ready for the corner blitz and weak side linebacker coming. Watch Mullen come right here. He's just reading the, the running back. He sees the running back. Young stays in. It's a green dog. It wasn't an active blitz. Play fake on second and 13. They get it outside, but that is sniffed out by Cam Jones. Coming up to make the hit on Jack Stoll. Three of three for 35 yards. That one, Drake, wrapped up in fumble. Another turnover by Northwestern. Who's your football? Mullen. Shook the ball loose just a little bit. 
And then Anderson loses it, but I think King got a hand on it. Filger with the muff, and then Reed there in coverage, and now Clifford, the quarterback, back to the controls with Journey Brown. We don't expect to see Noah Kane, the freshman from Baton Rouge. The true freshman. They give it to him. Safety's pressure. A give to Devin Ford this time. Cam Jones, man, he's had a monster second half. Yeah, so they let him go down the field with that soft zone, but not now. And they're even coming again. Federal on third and long under a lot of heat. He goes down. That's Cam Jones, the middle backer. Blitzes on three downs. Here comes McFadden, and here comes Jones. Fourth down. An opportunity to potentially finish what they got started last year and win a national title. Second down and 21. Fields in trouble. Breaks the tackle, but would not evade the Indiana pass rush. Check this out, Gus. They have three guys coming on the blitz, and finally they're going to get the safety loose. So difficult to pick up. And there's Jamar Johnson, who had the interception earlier in the game, who's right in the last. Pressure coming. Corral tries to pull. Second time out of the half. Jones here on the right side of your screen. It's going to work off the right edge. They're also bringing Micah McFadden up the middle. So an all-out blitz here by Indiana. Laporta gets the best of them. Yeah, not many people get the best of Mullen. Tyler Goodson hasn't been. Oh, the ball came loose here. Tyler Goodson, the ball carrier. McFadden says Indiana has it. And the digging begins. Indiana does have it. Really needed. The ruling on the field and a fumble recovered by the defense was under further review. Well, it is hard to tell. <laughs> Warren, first year defensive coordinator, was the DB coach at Georgia, and here's pressure. And Cam Jones got there and got enough of Mike Beaudry for the sack for Indiana. And he's coming clean. They came with a double blitz on the inside. He just runs them down. But I'll tell you what, it feels more open now than it did before the season started. On second and six. Four. Oh, he gets pasted. Driven back by Cam Jones and slammed for a loss. They look for their first win ever here. At Beaver Stadium, 0-11 in this stadium all time. Sean Clifford runs for no game, taken down by Cam Jones. He's out of the office for a couple of days at the end of that season, and one of his fellow coaches, here's Lovett, calls and tells him, Oklahoma State call today. And then he'll snap the ball usually with five seconds or less on that play clock. First down, carried by Irving. Bryant Fitzgerald. In on the tackle along with Alfred Bryant. This is a cover three scheme here. DeVito with all kinds of times. Nice. Tight end, throw. Is out. Yeah, it is out. And he did catch it. That's a fumble. It belongs to Indiana. Cam Jones is on top of it, but his team battery made helped him out. Again, just an excellent job of isolating the ball where it needed to be. And that ball came out, and Alfred Bryant, the bull position, is the one that got it. A helmet on it. You give it up at 78 pounds to the guy that you're hitting, something's going to give. And the ball in that case was the result. Yeah, and the, th the ball being thrown behind him. Whitney in motion. Hand off to Johnson. And he skirts out across the 15. That brings up fourth down and goal. Second and six. Oh, the ball is loose. Cam Jones trying to get it. Indiana has it. The rule number four is a catch fumble. The captain of this 
is Indiana Hoosiers football team answering the bell in the open field, one-on-one -on -one with an NFL caliber tight end, Cam Jones. Johnny on the spot, the alpha for these Indiana Hoosiers, making the play that his offense needs to get him back in the game.